It's all right. I don't like any of my friends, so that's, that's okay. I hate my friends. I don't know if that's relatable. It's not, because I've done this bit every night for three weeks and no one gets on board with it at all. I hate my friends. Okay, let's try this. I'll bridge this to you. Do you ever look at your friendship group and you're like, how did this happen? Seriously, if you're with your friends, look around tonight. You could do better. You could. You 100% could. I have no recollection of ever becoming friends with my friends. They're just there, stuck to me. It's not fair. I want to see some CVs. Who are these people? My best friend in the entire world, right, in kindergarten, first year of primary school, I was really into colouring in. My favourite thing, favourite thing. There was another kid in the class really into colouring in as well. And now we go to the pub every Sunday together. <laughs> There needs to be more. Like, that's not enough. That same friend brought his new girlfriend to come and watch me do comedy recently, and I was like, that's such a nice thing to do. Such a nice thing to do. And just before the show, I was behind that curtain. It was this month, right? I was behind that curtain. He accidentally pocket dials me. He's running late from his Uber, pocket dialed me. I answer to overhear the conversation with him and his new girlfriend. His new girlfriend says, oh my God, I'm so excited to see Sam do comedy. Is he good? And my friend said, it's not about that. <laughs> It's not about that. I don't think a sentence has ever summed up friendship more <laughs> than it's not how often you've been trying to get out of some kind of lunch with your friends and your partner will be like, why don't you want to go? You don't like them. You're like, it's not about that. <laughs> Last year, another one of my friends got married and he asked me to be a best man, right? Oh my God, what an honor. Everyone's always like, that's such an honor. Being a best man at a wedding, maid of honor, like it's such an honor. There's nothing bigger honor than that, right? I think they're getting the word honor confused with severe financial burden. <laughs> because I paid for half that fucking wedding. I'm, I'm not joking, it was just money in my pocket. Every time. I had to organise a Bucks party for 17 of the worst humans you've ever met in your life. The, honestly, the worst, right? And they're attached to me, they're not my friends, but now they kind of are, you know, it's not fair. I got sent a list of people I had to ring to see if they could come to the Bucks party. 17, 17, this is a true, one of the true conversations I had to have. I had to ring up and go out and say, hey mate, what date do you go to prison? <laughs> Do you think you'll make the Bucks party? And then he told me the date and I said, oh, well, the Bucks party is two weeks before that. And then he said, and I quote, oh, great, I guess one last hurrah. <laughs> it's not about that, you know, it's not about that.